And when we are born, we'll cry that we have come to this great stage of food. King Lear is such a potent story from the Western canon that helps us really examine our relationship to land and our relationship to nature. All of those themes were in my mind when I went up to talk with Tommy Lewis, who is an actor that I have admired for a long time. And in the context of what's taking place up in the north, Lear suddenly sort of resonated in a way um, even more powerfully. So the idea is that we try and run as much as we can tonight. We will stop if we need to and restart again. We slowly grew with Michael in translation and to fit his crown on this silly idea of mine. But when I do this one, it's, it's a voice of the country. Thank you, Tom. Am I in another country? Right now, in the north, there is really big questions being asked about how land should be used, who has the rights to make decisions about land, and in what way. Lear himself believes, in a sort of fit of hubris, that he can own land and divide it. And the consequence of that one idea is his downfall. And when I have crapped up on those rotten daughters, then I will kill, kill, kill! A lot of fathers don't listen to their daughters. They revolt against their own father, just to prove he's wrong. I wish I saw me what's going on! Look at me, Daddy. Let me come home. Give me your blessing. Don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me! I know you don't love me. <laughs> your sisters did me wrong for no reasons. Our children are now getting angry against their parents. Are we not looking after the country properly for them? Are we all responsible for the country? If you and me don't look after the rivers, our kids are going to get thirsty. My mom and your dad, all they care about is themselves, the old ways. As long as she has that dilly bag by her side with the song line and custodianship, she thinks she has the power. The way I see it, they are the traitor to all of us. Their ways will kill us all. We don't own the land. It, it, it owns us, regardless what we say. Yeah? That's when we go wrong. You know, when the kids now, they want to own the land. But don't forget the crobbery, because that's the key to the country. Within Shakespeare, particularly Lear, there is such a kind of cosmology and spirituality and a sense of the mysteries of the universe that straight away your mind wanders to Indigenous culture and how Indigenous culture works all the time with a foot sort of in the contemporary and the foot in this extraordinary 60,000 year history. You know, they think they're cursed by their actions, but their madness is all my making. When the time is right, I'm going to hunt my brother like a kangaroo. Bang! <laughs> well, if none will do payback, I'll do it myself. Scenes in Shakespeare that are played um, about family retribution, it's actually in Lear that he sings to his children and curses them accordingly. That's what, how a curse would work. Uh, in contemporary Indigenous culture. So it's an extraordinary symbiology that's taking place between Shakespeare and this contemporary experience as it's lived. It's our father. He sung us. He cursed us both. And this man we were given him in that old man crap. No, we built this on ourselves. At least I have my man good and proper. He'll look after me, won't you? Get away! If we tell you the abundance of our tragedies in our own country, nobody won't believe us. Using this story of Leah, it's a reflection back to our own people. Too late. Too late. 
if you meet people not going to enjoy country, we're going to lose it. Like I lose it. And the show becomes what it is. The story of the Shadow King.